this miner right here is by far the best home Dogecoin miner in the world in 2025. Let me explain. What's going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why the Alphapex DG Home One is the best home script miner in the beginning of 2025. Now there's a lot of new miners coming out in the near future, but this unit by far is the best one that you can buy right now today that is released on the market. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what exactly makes it so great as a home miner. And then I'm gonna walk you through step by step how exactly to set this up because I heard there's a whole bunch of you getting these in the next few weeks. So let's take a closer look. So here we have it, the Alpha Pex DG Home One. And let's go over what makes it so great and then we'll get it set up. So spinning this unit around, the back side of it has all of our components and plugs and connections. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the rest of this unit is actually rather sleek and actually rather attractive and something that you could put in a living room or like me, put in a basement. So let's run through it. So actually on this side of the unit while we're here, this is actually the exhaust side of the entire unit. Your intake side is actually up here on top where it brings in a lot of the cool air. You'll come through the top and then you'll exit out the front. So if you're running this at home to heat a room or bedroom, this is the direction that the heat will be blowing out the front of the unit. So going to the back side here, let's go over everything you see. So first thing we're gonna notice is this antenna. This antenna does not come with your Alphapex DG Home One. Actually, when you guys receive this, it's gonna look exactly like this. And is this antenna needed for wireless? The answer is no. However, I feel so much better having an antenna connected to the unit. Maybe it's just me, but if you guys need an antenna, I will go ahead and put a link directly down below. You can order one of these. They're super cheap off of Amazon. So what makes this unit so great to start out with is it does support wireless, which is a huge plus as a home miner, being able to put this anywhere in your house. The TF card we're not gonna use currently right now, most likely used for some type of firmware update. USB port, we're not using at all either. We do have a green and a red light. Your red light is fault. Hopefully you don't have any of those. You have an IP report button, a reset button, ethernet if available. So if you are in a spot where you do have ethernet, I always recommend it over wireless, but you know, sometimes you like to stick these in certain spots within the house. And a lot of the times you don't have a full ethernet connection available. I totally get it. And finally, a normal C13 plug that will plug into a normal wall outlet anywhere in your house. So not only is this miner great because of the fact that it runs off of wireless, it is also fantastic because it does run off of a normal 120 outlet, which makes it great for us, especially in the US, especially those of you guys over in Europe, that's no issue for you guys at all. But being able to run this anywhere in your house is another plus. The other avenue is, is that this thing is not loud at all. So right through here, you might barely be able to see it, is actually a radiator. And what happens is the air is just pulled in naturally through here because inside here, there is a radiator with a handful of fans. So it sucks that air in and blows it through the radiator. So it actually has almost a water block design. If you guys wanna see what's inside here, I actually have an entire unboxing video and I open it up and take a look at it. I'll link it directly down below if you're curious. But this thing is practically silent. And when I say practically, you can barely hear this thing running. There's no loud fan noises. The pump isn't loud or anything. So this Alphapex unit, it once again is a fantastic unit for home mining. So not only do we have a silent miner, we also have a miner that runs off of 120. And finally, we have a miner that has wireless. And last but not least, the final item on the list that makes this one of the best, if not the best home script miners or Dogecoin miners out there on the market today is it's profitable. All right, so now let's get this thing set up and go through it step by step for beginners out there. So step number one is we're gonna go ahead and plug this miner in. So we're going to use a C13 plug to a traditional NEMA 15 plug. If you guys, for some reason, don't have one of these, this is a normal computer plug that you use on a desktop computer or monitor. I'll link one down below if you're in a weird situation where you don't have one. So step number one, we're gonna plug it in on this side. 
get it all nice and snug, and we're going to plug it in to the wall. Now, it's going to power on, on its own. It does not have a power button directly on there. And now, step number two is to get started, you can't run it off a of wireless to get started right away. So, we're going to plug it in. So if you are near your home router, or a switch, or something of that sort, that's gonna be the best place to set this up as step number two. So we're gonna plug in here, and I have gone ahead and run ethernet ports in my office, but you could go ahead and plug directly in to your home router. Step number two is done. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer to look at step number three. All right, so our Alphapex DG Home One is plugged in and ready to go. Well, what's next? Well, step number three, you need to go over to Alphapex website and download an IP scanner software. It's going to search your network and give you the IP address for your DG Home One. So I'm gonna put a link directly down below to it because it's alphapex.com slash support slash downloads. And then on the left-hand side, you actually go ahead and select the tools option. Once you select tools, the very top option is their latest tools release. It's, it's a whole bunch of different great configuration tools as well as can scan your network. Go ahead and download it. Step number four. So you've downloaded the file. This is exactly what it's gonna look like. It's going to have a folder here with a zip across it. You're gonna right click on it and go to extract all. Once you've extracted the files, you now have a normal looking folder. Double click on that folder. We're going to go into the Alphapex tool folder and release. And here is a whole bunch of files. Don't get overwhelmed. Go ahead and double click on the one called Alphapex Tool. It's this one right here, has a blue little icon on it. We're going to double click on it. This is the application file. And here is a quick, lightweight tool that scans your network for Alphapex devices. So our next step is to come to the upper left-hand corner and hit the plus button. And it's looking for your home IP range. So like my subnet here, the IP address is 192.168, and actually it's 86. Most likely, most home users, it's 192.168.1, mine is 86. So I'm gonna put 86 in there, and then there's a plus to the right, bam. Now, once that's done, we're going to click the yes button. Now you're gonna see it front loads that in the upper left-hand corner to say it's searching that subnet, and we're gonna hit the scan button in the upper left-hand corner. It's pretty quick, actually. It's going to scan your entire subnet, all of those IP addresses, and you can see mine found one. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's going ahead and giving us the IP address 192.168.86.162. So I'm going to open up my internet browser here. And in the very top, we're going to type in 192.168.86.162 and hit enter. We're not going to be prompted with a screen for credentials. Put in root, R-O-O-T, and the password of root, R-O-O-T, and hit sign in. Now we are signed into the dashboard, and don't be concerned about these red circles and abnormal. It's because it's not configured yet. On the left-hand side, we want to get up and running as fast as possible. So some things to take a look at. If you go to IP, you can go ahead and set all the other information. If you want to set it statically, you can do that there. There is a Wi-Fi option that you can set up your unit to connect to your home Wi-Fi. I am not gonna do that because I don't wanna provide any private information uh, with my home Wi-Fi information, but feel free to go ahead and select Wi-Fi and set it up on Wi-Fi if you plan to put it in a spot in your house that you just don't have an ethernet connection. But let's go over to Miner. And this is really where we wanna get started. And honestly, we'll be up and mining in under five minutes. So the pool that I like to use for a lot of my script miners is via BTC. They have a lot of really good features over there. The one that I like the most is that it will go ahead and convert all the different script coins, which there's so many out there I've lost count as of right now. You know, your Doge, your Litecoin, your Bells, um, Lucky Coin, all these, uh, Pepe Coin, all these other ones, and it'll convert it for you if you're interested. Plus, I like the fact that you can swap things around over there to Bitcoin or to USDT as well. So we're gonna use via BTC for today. Feel free to use whatever script pool you're most interested in, but I'm gonna show you how to get up and running on via BTC in the next two minutes. All right, so we're over on via BTC. We've created an account and we've logged in. Now in the upper left-hand corner, you go ahead and highlight over top of BTC and we're going to go down to Litecoin. Now you might be like, whoa, I'm looking to earn Dogecoin. I get it 100%. This is actually how you will set this up and you will earn that Doge and that Litecoin 
and the bells and all the other script coins out there, you will go ahead and select Litecoin in this situation. Now that we're here, look at the bottom, Stratum URL. So you see how it gives us this URL here? Just hit the copy button and let's go back over to our Alphapex via the IP address and we're gonna paste it in to all three of these fields. We're now gonna go back over. And if you read actually down here, you're going to put in your username, which mine was the hobbyist miner, don't put that in, but put in your username dot worker ID. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna paste that in. And I'm gonna remove worker name and I'm just gonna put in DG home one and we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it all the way through. Now for password, I'm just gonna put an X, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and hit save. It's now going to save our configuration and I always like to reboot when I apply a pool configuration on any of my miners. So I'm gonna hit reboot in the bottom right-hand corner and click continue. Now, you might actually hear the unit reboot if you have it behind me like me. You might hear the pump kick in, don't be alarmed. Now, something else to take a look at while you're over here and you're waiting for that to get in place, you do have dashboard available, your workers, which you'll see that worker unlisted under workers once it is. It'll, it'll take a minute or two to show up in there as well as your earnings day by day. Something that you should take a look at is in the upper left-hand corner, go to assets. Now it's gonna walk you through a wizard here. So I'm just gonna click through these next, next, and next to give you uh, some information. And you're gonna to wanna to enter in some of your wallet information. So over here, they have an auto withdrawal feature if you're interested, so you can click there. And this is where you actually add your wallet information. So you can come in and for Litecoin, for example, hit the edit button next to it and fill in your Litecoin wallet address. Uh, the same thing you can do is scroll down and do the same thing with your Dogecoin wallet address. Fill that in. And what you're gonna wanna do is select the toggle switch over here to on, which will mean that it will auto withdraw completely over to that location. Now, if you don't fill any of this information out, it will stack everything on via BTC. So if you're in a rush or you don't have a wallet yet and you already have a miner, don't be concerned. It will accumulate everything over on via BTC for you. Once again, go back over to pool and we're gonna give this a few minutes. While we're waiting, if you're interested in getting an Alphapex DG Home One or you're in the market for another home miner, go over and check out the team over at asicmarketplace.com. I've been working with the team over there for well over two years now. I've bought many miners from them and I highly recommend it. If you're looking at this miner, we can go ahead and hit the hourglass, type in DG Home One and hit enter. And here it is right here. Now, some things to take a look at that make ASIC Marketplace very different from other locations out there, resellers you wanna buy from. The price on their website includes shipping, and here's the big one, it includes import tax. So a big misconception out there with a lot of sites, if you just go Google it, they might not cover import tax. Well, you'd hate to get a call from someone like DHL saying that you owe 25 to 30% import tax the day your unit arrives in the United States. So make sure when you're shopping around, you read the fine print, you read the FAQs. ASICmarketplace.com is a great place to shop because the price on their website is to your door. So this is the unit right here. You can go ahead and order it for a January delivery. Right now at the time of this video, it is January 10th. So you would get this before the end of the month. They have a lot of other really great products over there. So even the new Canaan Avalons that were just released and talked about, some of the Volk miners that are very popular right now. So go over and check them out. I'll put a link directly down below, as well as a code for $100 off. Finally, if you're looking to shop around a little bit and figure out what miner is best for you based off your budget, based off of profitability, you're looking to figure out based off your electric rate, go over and check out Mining Now. When you're over there, put in your electric rate. So for me, I'm gonna put in eight cents and hit enter. Once that's done, you can actually hit ASIC miners at the top, and it's gonna go ahead and give you all the latest and greatest miners out there listed from the best to the worst when it comes down to profitability, but gives you a lot of great information. And if you're looking for something like the unit that we have here, the DG Home One, you can search for it, select it, and it's gonna give you lots of great information regarding how much it makes per day, how much electricity it uses, how profitable it is right now, even tell you the price of Dogecoin, which unfortunately is only 33 cents right now. So. We can only go up from here. But a lot of really good information over here tells you how many watts it uses, 
the amount of hash rate that it does, and even information like when it was released. So if you guys are looking for a great tool to add to your arsenal as a home miner, check out Mining Now. All right, we've been up and mining for just over five minutes and taking a look in the dashboard, you can see we got green and normal all across the board. Now, it's only been about five minutes, so you really want to give it an hour to get up and running, but for all intents and purposes for today's video, five minutes and you should be mining. Now, if we jump over to via BTC and we refresh the page, you'll see that we have one miner up and running and you actually will start to see a little spike here in your hash rate. If you go ahead and select workers, this is where you're going to see the DG home one that we set up. Now, when you go ahead and do this on the worker name, make sure that you don't do spaces, that you don't do anything crazy or funky, just plain and simple via BTC doesn't really like it. They want a basic worker name in there. Now you're going to notice the hash rate does not match what we're getting on the miner itself. That's because the pool takes about an hour to get everything up and running and reflective. So don't be too concerned. Now, what's our next step? Our next step is to go actually power off our miner and let's get it in place. It's winter time in Pennsylvania. I want to go ahead and put this unit in my basement to help heat my basement. So let's do that now. All right, we're in my basement here and I have elected to go ahead and put the Alphapex DG Home One right here. My wife doesn't mind it. It is in the basement out of the way and it does provide some good heat. So it's got the intake coming in right here and it's blowing the heat into the rest of the basement, which is really, really nice. So I have gone ahead and ran my C13 cable just behind the entertainment unit here and we can go ahead and plug that in. We'll see our lights come on and I do have ethernet. I did actually furnish my basement. So there actually is ethernet behind here below the television, but if you guys don't have it, that's fine. If you set up your wireless, you'll be set up and good to go. And that's pretty much it. The DG Home One's gonna go ahead and run here. You run it all the time and it provides heat in the basement to help offset some of that heat that we need to keep the basement warm. And it's earning us some Dogecoin in the meantime. Guys, check out all the links directly down below. I also have a full unboxing video that I talked about on this unit where I open it up and explain all the internal components. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Sorry to interrupt your video, but check this out. I constantly get emails from the community asking me about trustworthy hosting facilities in the United States that I recommend. Well, I got you covered. Listen up. A few months back, I visited Block Ops Mining's brand new facility in central Arkansas. The team there was super professional, knowledgeable, and everyday miners like you and I. After visiting the facility, I sent them a few of my ASIC miners for hosting and have been super happy with their service and communication. Go contact Block Ops Mining directly down below in the video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you for great pricing on miners and hosting.